Are you new to comic collecting or feel like you're just in a rut with the hobby? In today's video, I'm gonna give you the solution to three problems facing collectors in today's comic book market. Let's go. In today's world of social media hype and pandemic restrictions, even a hobby as established and easygoing as collecting comics can seem overly complicated. Looking back at recent years, there are a few trends that are appearing in the hobby that aren't necessarily positive forces for us as collectors. And today I'm gonna to break down three of those trends. If we're just meeting, my name is Drew Stewart and I'm the owner of Como Comic Books, a Columbia, Missouri based comic book vendor. Here on our YouTube channel, we focus on bringing you the best tips and tricks that'll help you take your comic collection to the next level. If you enjoy comic collecting tips and best practices like this video or top 10 comics lists like our Comics to Invest In series, I hope that you will subscribe to the channel for more content like that. Now, let's get into the tips. Tip number one, don't buy comics you don't like. It sounds like something that shouldn't have to be said, right? But just think back over the last 12 months. How many comic books did you pick up because you heard a rumor about the main character or you thought there might be some spec for the book? Now, how many of those comics are you completely uninterested in today, but those books are still clogging up your longs or shorts? The way to get around that is to simply collect what you like. Your comic book collection, like any other hobby, is an expression of yourself. You're collecting comics because you enjoy reading them or collecting them for whatever reasons you might have. If you're approaching the hobby purely as an investor, this doesn't apply to you. An investor needs to keep their ear to the ground and act quickly when a spec pops up, but that's not what we're talking about today. With each passing year, the cost of new and back issue comic books continues to rise. By spending your budget on books you don't care about or enjoy, you are only delaying your chance to get a more expensive or a harder to find issue that carries more meaning for you. Don't deplete your funds for crap you don't care about. Most importantly, remember that what you collect is your choice. You don't need the approval of your friends, people on social media, or some talking head on YouTube to provide validation for the books or characters that you're collecting. If you're already getting value out of the content, please do me a favor and click the like button. Your likes and comments let YouTube know that you enjoy our videos and it's an easy way for you to support the channel. Now let's get on to our second tip. Tip number two, miss out on FOMO. The fear of missing out or FOMO is a real thing. Nobody wants to be the last person to get to the party. However, I'm here to tell you that not every party is worth attending. If you wanna increase your satisfaction with your collection, stop chasing the flavor of the week. There are so many resources available to us as collectors today. Long gone are the days where your local comic shop, Wizard Magazine, and the Overstreet Price Guide were really your only source of comic book information. From comic book news websites to collecting apps like Key Collector, online price guides such as Go Collect, and even YouTube channels from comic book content creators like Reggie Collects, Very Gary Comics, and Comic Tom, there's no shortage of information available to us. The rub is the collecting apps, news websites, and content on YouTube are only as relevant as the most recent alert or piece of information, which means we are always looking for the next big thing to talk about. Unfortunately, every rumor or project announcement does not equal a speculation gold mine. If collecting truly is your focus, keep an eye on what you're actively collecting not the hot new book everyone is talking about. One last point about FOMO, there's simply not a key comic book published every single week. It's just not how it works. Most comic books that are published are never worth more than they are on the day they were released. There are, beyond a doubt, books that stand out and increase in value over time, some faster than others, but don't let the hype in the market get the best of you and cut into your comic book budget, chasing books that are keys on the day of release. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Click on the notification bell once you subscribe so that you never miss a new video. Tip number three, stop relying on eBay. A question I often get is where can I find comics at decent prices? And for the most part, that place is absolutely not eBay eBay is the convenience store of the modern world. 
if you want or need something, chances are you can find it on their platform, but you're gonna pay up for the convenience of finding it from the comfort of your home computer or smartphone. If you wanna find the best prices for comic books, find the local comic shops and comic book shows or conventions in your area. Develop a relationship with your LCS. If you're in an area that is fortunate enough to have more than one comic store, find the store that you're most comfortable with and become a regular. Get to know the people that work there and make sure that you let them get to know you and what you collect as well. That way, when something you're interested in walks through the door, the store staff knows they may already have an interested buyer. Additionally, connect with other collectors in your area. This can be in person at your LCS, virtually through a Facebook group, or even an old school comic book collecting club. Yes, they really are still out there. Other collectors are a great source of information. And when you have a network of collectors helping each other find what they're looking for, you expand your reach far beyond what you could ever accomplish on your own. One last resource for getting the books you're looking for at a decent price is by following and engaging with your favorite dealers or vendors on social media. Some of my favorite books in my collection came from vendors who I developed a long-term relationship with, routinely shopping with them over many years, many shows. By developing these relationships and keeping up with them, you will not only be able to see what shows or conventions they're going to be setting up at, which will help you get out and shop these same conventions, but oftentimes when they get new books in, you can see those books before they hit the sales floor. That's where the whole early bird gets the worm thing comes in. I'm not much for morning, so I'll just take their word for it. If you are looking for resources to find local comic shops in your area, check out comicshoplocator.com. If you need resources for locating comic shows or conventions in your area, try conventionscene.com or popculthq.com. I'll post links to all of these sites in the description below. Long story short, the key to finding comics at the best prices comes down to just a few things. Developing relationships, getting out where the comics are, and digging through as many boxes as you can stand, and lastly, a little bit of luck. You never know when you'll be in the right place at just the right time. The most important part of any hobby is providing yourself with an outlet for self-expression. Collecting comic books is a fantastic hobby, but it can definitely be a lot to keep track of. As long as you are happy with the books you add to your collection, that's all that really matters. Don't let the fear of missing out pull you astray of your collecting goals and your focus will take you further faster with your collection. When you're able, get out to your local comic stores and conventions and start building your network. You'll be amazed at the benefit these new relationships can provide. I hope you have a great year and are able to get out into the wild and look for some new books in person. Be safe out there and good luck with your collection. Don't forget to collect responsibly and I'll see you in the next video.